Well, school safety, of course, top of mind for at least a handful of Colorado lawmakers. Special committee has been studying everything from emergency response to prevention to identifying students in crisis. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, was at that meeting. Sean, we know a lot of people have to be involved in a big issue like this. Sounds like state auditors are getting involved as well. Yeah, and Jim, they released a report today showing the state spent nearly $75 million over the last couple of years on a dozen different school safety programs, but there is no coordination among them. The committee plans to address that. It will consider a dozen different legislative proposals after hearing from dozens of Coloradans, including a dad whose daughter died in a school shooting. On September 27, 2006, a gunman entered, a stranger entered, Platte Canyon High School and held seven girls hostage. In the 13 years since his daughter Emily was killed at Platte Canyon High School, John Michael Keyes has made it his mission to make schools safer, developing a standard response protocol to school threats. We took these actions, lockout, lockdown, evacuate and shelter. His research now helping guide a legislative committee that shares his mission. A resolution recommending all schools adopt the protocol among the ideas to emerge from the committee after three days of emotional testimony. I am a member of the lockdown generation. In addition to students, parents and teachers, the committee heard from state auditors who say there are at least a dozen school safety programs now and there's no coordination among them. Public health and the Department of Education perhaps doing the same thing. Well, that's not efficient. And we've got gaps. Representatives Paul Lundeen and Daphna Michelson Janae taking the lead on bills aimed at eliminating duplication of services and improving communication among state agencies. The committee will also draft legislation addressing misuse of the Safe to Tell hotline, mental health sick days for kids, and mental health first aid for teachers. We have to be able to account for the money we're spending, and we need to know that that money we're spending is saving lives, period. That's what school safety means. We can surely mitigate these. If we can't stop them, maybe we can make them smaller. Now, of the dozen legislative proposals to come out of the committee, only five will be introduced this next legislative session. The committee will narrow the list next month. This committee is made up of an equal number of Republicans and Democrats, and they must agree unanimously to move a bill forward, which is why, in part, no gun control made it into any of these bills. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean.